Hi guys, welcome along to another video here at Totally Magic. And what do you reckon of the fashion accessory? Looking good? What do I know about fashion? This is nothing to do with fashion. It is all to do with breaking the magician's code. You see, when magicians often do prediction effects, they always put their prediction in an envelope or in their wallet or in a card box or a wooden casket. I thought we'll leave it on full view from the beginning. Now this is important. This is a single card and if people can have a quick look there, that is a single card. Now I'm not gonna show you the face of it just yet because it may influence what you're about to do. But this is my premonition, my prediction card. A single blue backed card which stays in full view throughout. We introduce a deck of cards. I would like you, sir, to shuffle the cards. Is that all fair? You're happy with that? What I'm going to get you to do is to pick any one of these cards. You've got 52 to choose from. Now you might decide to pick one from the top or the bottom or even the middle. Or you may even think, why have I bunched up all these cards? Maybe I'm trying to hide something under there. It's an absolute 100% free choice of any card. Now just slide out the card. Anyone you like, you're happy with this one. Do you want to change your mind? You're happy with this single card? I'll just put it here just for the moment and we'll come back to that. You see, most people say that maybe I've got the cards in a certain order and I know where they are. But we can eliminate that because you shuffled these. The other thing people say is we haven't seen the faces. They could all be the same. Well, let's get rid of that myth here is the faces 51 different cards one of them you selected now the one that you selected is just here and you can see that we have now just two cards my prediction and your single red back card chosen from the pack your card was the jack of diamonds an absolute free choice. Now there is an important thing I want you to note here. Please look through the deck. There's no duplicate Jack of Diamonds. This is the one that you just removed from your shuffled cards. Yep, there it is there, the Jack of Diamonds. Remember my single blue back card that's been in full view around my neck from the very beginning. You had a free choice. Yep, it matches my prediction perfectly, and that is a perfect prediction effect. But let's go one stage further. You see, what we're going to do is we're going to take the jack that you just chose, the red backed jack, and we're going to shuffle this into the pack like this. Push them in like that, and we'll even cut the pack. An absolute mix and shuffle of the cards. We don't need this blue backed card here. So I tell you what we'll do. We'll get rid of, in fact, what we'll do is we'll put it here. In full view. Let's find your chosen card, the Jack of Diamonds. Now here it is, here. You see, I want to go one stage further. Not only did I predict that you would choose that, but I now want to do a thing called an exchange. You see, if I go like this, just a little click, it's not the images that change, but the cards themselves. You see, look, here we got your card. And here is my card, which is now your card, the red back. Well, if this is the red back that we just shuffled into the pack, what's this one? And that is the blue back. 
That is a perfect magical exchange of cards. I tell you what, let's get rid of this and let's carry on with the rest of the performance because what I've got for you now is a great little trick using the pack and I'd like you to, to do it. Hope you enjoyed that opening card trick and that's exactly how I would play this normally. It's a great opener to a magic routine. So you start off with this quick, dynamic, bam, there it is in your face, a prediction like that, and then you move on to the rest of your show. Now the thing with this is, I've just looked back on the performance, and I'm gonna say to you, forget the second part, which I thought was dreadful, which was the exchange. That was something I just quickly added on during the filming. There was no rehearsal, so it didn't, I don't think it worked. But the beginning where the card is predicted that's round your neck matches their freely chosen card, I think that's outstanding. I love this. And this is an idea that I came up with, but based on many variations out there on the market. So it's not an original, it is taken ideas that have been around for years. Let's look at it. You need just a regular deck of playing cards. There's nothing strange about this. And this is what makes the trick work so well as an opener because you can then go on and carry on with your card tricks after you've performed this prediction introduction. Regular deck of cards from the pack, you remove any card that's gonna be your predicted card. Okay, so in this case, I've got the Jack of Diamonds, not for any particular reason, but that will do. Um, you also need two contrasting color backed cards. So I've got blue as opposed to the pack being red, and these are both Jack of Diamonds. This is why I went for the Jack of Diamonds because I had one from another pack and I had a, a, a spare Jack lying around in the drawer. So I used those. Now on here, let's do the setup. You also need a little bulldog clip. I'm not sure if that's what everyone calls them, but we call them a bulldog clip. You get these from most uh, office supply stores stationary shops but i bought a pack of 10 of these little miniature bulldog clips for a, just a couple of pounds so i also got an old chain that i had lying around you could put a piece of string or a piece of ribbon would work well and this goes around your neck now there is something that i've done on here um, let me see if the camera can pick this up this little corner here, so when this is round my neck, this little corner here of the bulldog clip, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but I got a pair of pliers and I just bent the lip up just a little bit. And there was a reason why I did that and I'll explain that in a moment. So that's all you need. Oh, by the way, one of these cards, not this one, but this one has the infamous double-sided tape upon it. So let's set up what you need. First of all, these two blue-backed cards go together with the sticky on the outside. That's this one. Now there is something important that you need to note here. When this is in the Bulldog clip, like that, can you see that the cards are perfectly aligned? There's no separation. Now, if you've got pretty new cards, that will happen automatically. If you find that you've got a gap, because don't forget at the beginning of the trick, you're convincing them that this is a single card. Okay, look how clean that is all the way around. It looks single. You also have to remember at this point in the trick, right at the beginning, why wouldn't it be a single card? 
nobody knows what you're going to do next so you've told them it's a single card they can see it's hanging there freely so it's clean at this point okay so if you find that you've got quite old cards that don't sit together perfectly then what i would do is let me do this side on the, the top card i would bow slightly that way the bottom card i would bow the opposite way so the edges meet like that i don't know if you can see that so that when the bulldog clip is on it pushes the two edges together to give you that nice neat look anyway this goes on the clip like that and this goes round your neck like this you introduce your prediction you plainly say that at the beginning this red back card the the genuine jack of diamonds from the red pack put into a pocket i would prefer to have a, a top pocket here and i normally do this trick when i've got a shirt on with a top pocket up here and i would put this in there during the performance i didn't so i put it in my back pocket okay like that so i'm just going to put that in my back pocket like that the cards are introduced and I get them to shuffle them. I deliberately don't show them the faces, okay? Because I want a bit of suspicion in their heads to kick in here. So they take the cards and they shuffle these. You spread them because they really do get a choice of any one of these. You couldn't care less which one they push out. So let's say they push this one out. This has got nothing to do with the trick. We couldn't care less that that's a queen. They've pushed the card out. They can see it's a single card, and you can even say to them, just one card, just make sure it's a, a single card. There it is, a single card. Now, this is why I said to you I bent the lip up just a little bit, because it allows me just to do this. Push that very loosely in there, because the lip, let me see if the camera can get that, because the lip is up, it makes it very easy just to push it. Now remember, this isn't staying there forever. It's only gonna be there for 30 seconds, so you haven't got to wedge it right in. Just tap it in. It's only one card, and it just holds it there. Now you've got that contrast in blue and red. At this point, everyone thinks it's all clean and above board because you've got a single blue, a single red, that's done. I then turn focus to this. The reason I'm putting that out of the way is because I'm now turning to these and saying, some people think they're in an order, but you shuffled them. And the key thing is I want to convince them that they are just regular cards. So for the first time, I show them the faces, the 51 cards remaining. Now, this is the move. This has got the sticky on, the blue has got the sticky on. What I do is I just pull these out, boom. I square them and I pull them apart. Look how quick that happened. Let me do that again. This is what the cards are like. I pull them out, you yank them out and you straight away just square them up and straight away separate them. What I'm doing is putting pressure here. As I do that, the move looks like this. You pull it out, you square it, you do this, and you've now got two cards here. And because of the sticky tape, they're stuck together perfectly, like this, okay? Now remember, the heat isn't on this because they just pushed it out two seconds ago, and they're convinced, well, they're very happy that it's a single card. They can see that, and you proved that when you picked it up and put it in. So the heat is not on this card. If they want convincing, this now is not a double. This is a single card. So I then handle this freely, turn this over to show that it is the jack, and then reveal this here. Now I think that you end it here. 
okay I think you can end it here now what you can do at this stage the situation you've got here you've got a double the red the red card is the, the queen that they actually really pushed out and the blue backed jack okay what I tend to do is I put this on the top I gather the cards up turn them over and I take half the cards and I then do an almost not an exact pharaoh shuffle um, but what I'm doing let me see if I can just demonstrate this is that I'm actually I don't know if you can see that I'm actually pushing some of the cards between the two that are stuck together this here I don't know if the camera can pick that up clearly yeah and I'm pushing it because if I push the cards together that will separate the two cards I've just broken the sticky off there remember this isn't that sticky yeah that is not that sticky so it just needs a slight persuasion as I do that I've now got the blue card there now it's up to you at this point to just get rid of this blue card in any way you like either finish off the trick there put it away in the box I leave the second part up to you as I said on the performance I didn't like the second trick that I did it just didn't sit comfortable with me but this is how I did it so this is now at the bottom the blue backed jack I cut the cards and then spread them face up okay there is the jack here and I pulled that out this however which is the blue back and I made a point of saying let's get rid of the blue card now if this was in my top pocket I would do a switch with the genuine red back that I had in my pocket already so I would put this in and then as though I kind of have an afterthought and say well hang on a minute let's let's do something with this and I now clip it up I've now switched it or if you've got a switch wallet you could put this in switch it in the wallet um, well I'll leave it up to you but we've now got rid of this this is the good thing I've got rid of this and I'm left with the red the rest of it is performance click your fingers the red jack that was here is now here and the blue is here now this is the one with the sticky the great thing is at this point I can throw that up onto the table I can now leave the cards for you to show and say can you shuffle those I can now get rid of this card with the sticky on I'm all clean the two blues have got rid of and uh, you're now on to your next trick with the deck of cards that's it hope you enjoyed that prediction trick as I said the first part of just the prediction I think is great this yanking the cards out and literally squaring and pushing them now if you guys are quite good with your hands I'm not very good with my hands that's why I had to use uh, two hands to do it but you could probably just square this up in one hand and push it off with your thumb have a play around see how you get on with that i think it's a great visual opener till next time practice and enjoy